I shot this once and I'm such a perfectionist that I decided I had to redo it because this whole section of my, my chin just looked like one big shadow <laughs> and I decided that wasn't good enough. So here I am again trying to do this again. Uh, but essentially what's happened is I haven't been on for a week, which is because of the weather. It's been really rainy, it's been really wet, and I can't risk bringing my camera out here and having it ruined. Because if I make a video and I get my camera ruined, then I can't make more videos. So it's better for me to just not make videos for a couple of days than to not ever make videos again, I figure. What are you doing? But anyways, um... So basically what's been going on this week is that I've finally run out of money. I no longer have any money and uh, so I've got a friend that's been helping me a little bit. My ex-girlfriend lives with me and she's been helping a lot um, as far as, you know, keeping me alive, keeping me fed. Um, I don't, I'm out of money, but a friend borrowed me some money and my business partner is going to pay the lease this month. There's something moving around back there. Uh, my business partner is going to pay the lease this month, which will be a big help, and basically that gets me caught up on my bills. All I've got to do is worry about making enough money to eat um, until I can get my car sold, I guess. I, I really don't want to, but I'm I'm going to have to. I mean, it's not doing me any good sitting there anyways, right? But the thing is, I paid $13,000 for that car. I bought it, you know, it was way too new. It's a 2007 Cadillac. I bought it in 2009 at 19. I worked hard for that car and I paid too much for it. I've put a lot of money into it because, oh man, you know, it's just, I don't want to get rid of it. There's a lot of good memories. My mentor, the last ride he ever took in a car was probably in that. He used to go to, to dinners every Friday night with my grandpa. And I, and I bought that car from my grandpa, which is, you know, a completely uh, different story that I probably need to tell as well because it's an interesting one. Um, basically, I worked for family and I got fired by my own family and I haven't talked to them since. Uh, and then my parents, who I also worked with, moved to Minnesota. <laughs> Shit's been intense, okay? just. But my thing is I can sell the car, I can get the shop open, I can make enough money to buy another one. They're not that expensive anymore. They've gone down in price a lot. Cadillac makes so many better cars now than they did when I bought that one that that these are just going to depreciate in value anyways. I might as well get rid of it while I can and make another dream happen from a dream, you know. I've been working on this like really, really hard for almost a year now. I've had the lease at the shop. And I've been thinking about it since I was, <laughs> since I started skating, I've wanted to open a shop. If you go back and you watch some of my old videos, I say, I don't want to be a professional skateboarder. I, I don't, that's, that's not me. I want to be a skate shop owner. That's my my place in the skateboarding world. That's what I want to do. Uh, I understand that I don't have the skills to go pro and I never will. That's fine with me. I want to be a shop owner. I want to talk to kids about skateboarding all day, every day. That's my passion. That's what I want to do. And, you know, that car, getting it was my passion for a long time. Working hard to make that happen was what I wanted to do. And I did it. But it's time to let it go, I guess. So, that's the plan now. Um, sorry to be kind of a bummer, but I guess it fits the the weather. I'm going to try to be a lot more positive in life in general and on my videos. Uh, you know, things kind of suck right now, but they could be worse. I'm not dead, so I got that going for me. Unless whatever's moving over there comes and gets me. Um, no, there's like a lot of squirrels and birds and stuff back here, but they sound way bigger than they are, especially when you're out here alone. So if you ever see me like, it's just me reacting to a bird or a squirrel or my own damn dog, wherever he's at. Better go find him. But I'll see you guys again soon. I promise.